We are not alone. We, the living, yes, we have each other. And if we are open to it, we have our ancestors. They have our backs. By the very nature of the relationship, they can't live our lives for us. That's up to we, the living. But they have our backs. They lend their spirits, their wisdom, their knowledge, if we are open to it. They visit us in our hearts and minds. They speak in our ear. They encourage us on. They tell us the truth of who we are, even when others might not see it. So it is good on this Halloween day to open to the spirit of our ancestors and allow them to visit us, not some spooky ghost, but the the goodwill, the blessing, the character, the spirit of our ancestors. We ourselves are here in this human sphere, bringing the profound vibration of the cosmic all that is into the human world. We are here to allow the ultimate power of the universe to be operative here in this human world that ultimate power being love. So we open in a time like this more fully to that infinite love, receive it into ourselves, into our hearts, let it vibrate through us and into the space that we're in. That love brings with it the ordering power of the universe. The patterns, the unfolding patterns of life, the unfolding patterns of the world in which we live, which are so much related to the unfolding patterns of this solar system, of this galaxy, of the cosmos, astrologists sometimes give a go at naming some of those patterns and how they relate to us. I suppose they sometimes get it right and sometimes not. But they give it a go. 